Hi everyone, now I'm just going to lift this up. This is a, a box of uh, flies I'm working on at the moment for the river. And uh, as you can see, these are your basic sort of tungsten bead nouns, pheasant tails, bugs, or shrimp patterns, hair's ear, patterns you can't go far wrong. But a pattern we don't tie enough of, because you can get a good hatch, and especially the winter months, is midge. You get a small midge coming off, and it's worth tying a small midge pupa like this just to have in your box uh, and hanging beside your nymph somewhere and you'd be surprised how many fish this will take. So it's certainly worth having it as a nymph, as a pupa as in this case, as well as dries, certainly worth having. So what I'm going to do is zoom in here so obviously you can see it, I can write in. Now this is a size 20, now it's quite simple, it's just tied with pheasant tail, it's just, that's all it is really. Now it's really simple to tie. Now the hook I'm using, obviously there's a full mill hook and it's called the grab gate and it's a size 20, it's a, it's a heavy one, this is a strong hook. You could use a lighter wire hook, it's up to sell, you could tie on a small curved hook, you can use whatever hook you like. Uh, this is the one I'm going to be using, I'm just going to put it level into the base. There you go, tighten up. Thread I'm going to be using, just a uni thread AO. And black obviously. Now your body could just be the thread, it's, it's up to yourself, but I'm going to use the pheasant tail, it's always done well for me. So at this point I'm going to tie in some thread at the head, but what I'm going to do is put in some breathers. Now I've got some rayon floss here. Now I've got three to four fibres, depending on how heavy you want the breathers to be. Now I'm going to put on, in this case there's four lengths there, I'm going to Take my thread to about maybe a head length, a small head length from the eye, just tie this front and then I'm going to come down about the thorax length, trim away and the way down I'm going to tie in an extra small silver wire, just catch it in and just continue down to the bend of the hook, so here we are, now the pheasant tail you're looking around about four lengths, four fibre, four or five or so, it doesn't, you can stretch it out. But I'm going to be using this as the uh, thorax cover and to split the, the floss, just to give the impression of the gills. Now I'm going to slip this through to the tips, so I've obviously put a turn round at the base of the fibre, then I'm going to work my way up to the beginning of the thorax, wind towards myself, And then catch it on top, a couple of turns, one on the hook to tie in the pheasant tail and one on the hook. And then come up, do another one behind and one in front, but keeping it on top. Now what I'm going to do here now is obviously bring up the rib. Which is nice. You want a few turns in there to give the impression of the body, the, the midge. A good half dozen turns or so. Catch it on the side and wind down towards the gills, towards the white floss. Then break away the wire. Now you see where you are. Now make sure you've got enough room in here to tie off. So you've got to give yourself. A, I'm going to come back a turn. There you go. That's better. Now you could just build up the thread and then bring the pheasant tail over. The one I'm going to do here is I've got some black squirrel dub. This is SL, SLF squirrel dub. I'm just going to lightly dub it on to give it a bit of leg. Just light. Just, just give it some life. And then bring my thread in front. Just a turn. And then I'm going to split the floss. Just make an even split. Quite light. There we are, and then just bring your pheasant tail through fibre. It just gives you the thorax cover, but it splits the, the gills. Just tighten up. Now it's just a turn or two, and f just to hold it and then fold it back. Two or three turns, and then go straight in and whip finish, just to save a bit of bulk. There 
then tie off, trim away your thread, trim away your fez, tail fibre, and then you want to trim the gills just off the front of the eye, that's what I like to do. Don't be shy with them. Just checking here, I think it's a wee bit short there, so it's going to come back in. Oh, sorry, too long. Just get your scissors in front of the eye. And then you want to just rough it back. You want to be able to see the girls. And there we are. And that's the small midge. And they keep the legs, that's just a wee bit of life in the fly. So there we go. As I say, it's a simple wee midge pattern. Nothing fancy. I mean, have some with the pheasant tail and some with the thread itself, just to make it slimmer. But I, I, that's a nice wee hook. And as I say, you'll not go far wrong having them in your box. So, thanks for watching. Until next time.